Shop Street in Galway on the first night of the new academic year. Videos and photos of students gathering in large numbers here and elsewhere in the city led to widespread condemnation from locals and elected representatives through the day. It was a right disgrace and the clusters of people down here is absolutely crazy. And it's not fair on the, on the Cleta uh, village over here. It's disgraceful, you know. They were going into people's gardens, going to the toilet. They have the church to stride, you know. And you have these places over here getting pallets of drink every day, you know. Is any wonder they've gone cracked? As the clean-up operation continued this morning, signs too of the basic laws of supply and demand as local off-licences restocked their shelves. Gardaí were called to a dozen locations where large house parties were underway around the city overnight, leading to calls from some quarters for the defence forces to be deployed to maintain order in the coming days. I'm saying here Galway, capital of the West, needs Gardaí resources on the ground and that's the only way you're going to deal with it. And if the army can help out in that matter, well and good. In the aftermath of last night's events, a multi-agency meeting was hastily organised today involving student leaders, Gardaí, local authority representatives and the presidents of NUI Galway and GMIT. It's very disappointing to see this and I know that people in the locality will be concerned for their health, uh, there's an economic concern, but I'd also worry about the students themselves in the weeks ahead and I would urge them to reconsider um, in, the, in the coming days. Ultimately, public appeals like these are as much as can be done to sway people away from large gatherings. There are no plans to close off public amenities in Galway at present and calls for restrictions on off licences could only bear fruit if individual businesses were willing to voluntarily close. Now, Pat, as we saw in your report there, there are efforts afoot to try and avoid similar gatherings for the rest of the week. What measures will be put in place? Well, Gardaí say they'll be actively confiscating alcohol from people who are consuming it in public places. Both the uh, third level institutions in the city, uh, GMIT and NUI Galway, are emphasising the sanctions that they can take against people found to be in breach of their codes of conduct and that involves any breach that would put public health at risk. The student representatives, the students' unions in both institutions also emphasising the need for students to play ball essentially in the coming days. It would typically be Freshers' Week here. It's raining and Galway tonight so that means that that should keep a lot of people indoors but concerns there that, that might drive house party numbers and also if Galway was to go up a level in terms of restrictions with ongoing fears about the number of cases around the county there are also concerns that that could drive events underground too Katrina making them even more difficult to police. All right thanks for that Pat.